Hello and welcome to the weekly news update. It's 22nd of September 2023. I'm Nikhil Shini and these are the headlines. Binance and CEO Cheng Peng Zhao ask court to dismiss SEC lawsuit. Google Cloud to provide developers with data access from blockchains. Crypto exchange Bybit to suspend UK operations as new ad rules kick in. Judges deny Sam Bankman frieds appeal for early release. Near Foundation CEO resigns. Upcoming events and more to come. Quickly on the market rates today, Bitcoin is at $26,000, Ethereum is at $1,500, BNB is at $210, Solana is at $19, and the dollar scenario rates at $979. Now let's get you updated on the crypto weekly news. First up, Binance CEO Cheng Peng Zhao and his cryptocurrency exchange have filed a joint motion to dismiss the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC lawsuit against them. According to a September 21st filing in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia, both Binance Holdings and Zhao claimed that the SEC had overstepped its authority in the lawsuit against them. In the 60-page petition, lawyers for Binance and Zhao accused the SEC of failing to introduce clear guidelines for the sector ahead of its lawsuit against the cryptocurrency exchange and, as a result, has imposed its regulatory authority over the cryptocurrency sector retroactively. The SEC pursues these novel theories retroactively, seeking to impose liability for sales of crypto assets that occurred as far back as July 2017 before the SEC provided any public guidance concerning cryptocurrency. It is clear that the SEC's lawsuit has no foundation in the currently enacted securities laws. Lawyers for Binance also asserted that the regulator fundamentally misinterprets securities laws and their application to crypto assets. In attempting to claim regulatory power over the crypto industry, the SEC distorts the text of securities laws that was according to the filing. Next up, Google Cloud has earlier announced that it has had 11 more of the most in-demand blockchains to the BigQuery public data sets program while making improvements to existing data sets in the program. Google Cloud said in a statement that this builds on Google Cloud's work with the community since early 2018 to democratize blockchain data through the BigQuery public data sets program and adding six more data sets to the program in 2019. According to the statement, the 11 in-demand chains that Google Cloud is adding into BigQuery public data sets include Avalanche, Arbitrum, Kronos, Ethereum, Phantom Opera, Near, Optimism, Polkadot, Polygon Mainnet, Polygon Mumbai, and Tron. We're doing this because blockchain foundations, Web3 analytics firms, partners, developers, and customers tell us they want a more comprehensive view across the cryptocurrency landscape and to be able to query more chains. They want to answer complex questions and verify subjective claims like how many NFTs were minted today across the specific chains or how the transaction fees compare across chains or how many active wallets are on the top EVM chains. That was according to James Thomas, global head of Web3 Google Cloud. Also, cryptocurrency exchange Bybit said it will suspend its UK operations next month in response to regulatory changes just a week after saying it was exploring all options to stay in the country. New customers won't be able to open accounts as of the 1st of October and starting on October 8th, existing customers won't be allowed to add funds, create new contacts or increase their positions. They will, however, be able to reduce and close their positions and withdraw their funds from the platform the Dubai-based company said in the post on its website. More interesting news as a three-judge panel from the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit has denied a motion for early release of former FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried or SBF. In a September 21st order, Circuit Judges John M. Walker Jr., Denny Chin and William Nardini denied SBF's motion for early release, which his team argued was largely due to First Amendment issues. The ruling said Lewis Kaplan, the judge overseeing SBF's criminal case, had correctly determined that Bankman-Fried's speech amounted to witness tampering. 
The record shows that the district court thoroughly considered all of the relevant factors, including Bankman Free's course of conduct over time that had required the district court to repeatedly tighten the conditions of release. That was according to the September 21st order. It also shows that the district court contemplated a less restrictive alternative offered by SBF, an order limiting his communications with the press, but reasonably concluded that it was not a workable solution longer term. The judges added this. The district court did not err in that SBF had failed to rebut the presumption in favor of detention. We have reviewed the defense team's additional arguments and find them unpersuasive. To close up the news today, Marik Flamen, CEO of Near Foundation, the developer of the namesake Layer 1 protocol, has resigned. According to the September 21st announcement, Chris Donovan, Near Foundation's general counsel, will replace Flamand as the new CEO following the resignation. Flamand gave no specific reason of her departure. Speaking on her tenure, Flamand said this, Two years ago, I had never heard of Near. Upon doing a bit of research and after several conversations, it became clear that Near had a tremendous potential, fantastic tech, a diverse and vibrant community, and a world of open possibilities, and so I joined. Flamin stated that from 2021 to 2023, the daily active user count of Near Protocol grew from 50,000 to 3 million, and its Twitter followers grew from 200,000 to over 2 million, citing more than 2,000 pieces of press coverage. Finally, on blockchain events to come, Crypto Expo Dubai happening from the 20th to the 21st of September 2023. Live in Dubai is the Crypto Expo Dubai organized by Hekmana. Witness the largest crypto expo in Dubai with top-notch investors and leaders in the cryptocurrency industry to network and discover new business possibilities. Don't pass up on the chance to network with the best cryptocurrency businesses for trading and investing. Learn about the cryptocurrency industry, altcoins, blockchain, and consensus. And that's it for the weekly news updates here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. And also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and X at Crypto TV Plus, on Instagram and threads at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news at all, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Oshinena. I'll see you next time.